Okay, welcome to this tutorial, 24 essential shortcuts for wedding photographers in Lightroom. These are just 24 hotkeys I use to speed up my workflow. Lightroom has so many different uh, hotkeys and shortcuts, sometimes it's a bit intimidating and we actually don't get around to using any. The first 13 hotkeys, I'm not going to go through each each one of the hotkeys, um, I encourage you to do that on your own until it becomes second nature. Um, but the first 13 um, have to do with Lightroom's modules and interface. What that means is, um, okay, Lightroom has the library, develop, map, book, slideshow, print and web modules. And these, these first 13 hotkeys um, will jump you from, from any one of the, the modules that you in directly into the tool that the hotkey directs to. Okay, and that really speeds, uh, speeds things up because you don't each time have to go to, to the develop module, click on the adjustment brush, what you can do is just from the develop uh, from the library module you can push the, sh the hotkey K and what that will do is it will automatically bring up your adjustment brushes okay uh, for the interface the tab just takes away the side panels and shift tabs take the uh, tab takes away the, the whole panel all the panels sorry uh, the top, bottom and sides, I'm just going to shift tab that again to bring it back. Okay, the next group of, um, of hotkeys have to do with setting your flags, labels and ratings for each picture. Now that usually happens in the, that usually happens in the, the, the library module. Um, to reject a picture or to pick it, use the hotkeys X you'll see a little in in the little thumbnail at the bottom here when I when I X a picture it will automate uh, which is rejected it will give you a little black flag over there if you push P it will flag it as picked and you will unflag it if you quickly want to set the rating for a picture a, a, a star rating that is and from 1 to 5 you just use the numeric values so instead of each time having to go back to the little stars over here you can just set it as a 1 2 3 4 5 okay you get the picture I generally don't take my pictures to five um, unless it's a competition shot. Okay. Um, now you'll see that this has got a little blue box around it, which means it's been flagged as blue. I use blue to to uh, show me that it still it needs to go into Photoshop. The numeric value six to nine allocates color labels. Uh, nine being blue, you can just uh, you know play around play around with them until you get used to which numbers uh, allocate which colors. Seven, for instance, means uh, means it's it's yellow. By pushing nine, it'll it'll bring up blue, and that saves you from having to go into this little right click menu over here. Okay, let's hop over to the develop module. Now this is where I spend a lot of time once I've selected, once I've done my selection, before taking my final photos into Photoshop. Okay, a tab, a tab that I use a lot is the backslash key. That's the before after. It's just a really quick way to to avoid having to change your views. So that's the backslash. Okay, now if you've worked on a slider, let's say this is 
I moved the clarity up to 31 and I want to reset it. I just have to hover over the name and double click. Now that works the same if you double click over the nub as well. So it's just a really quick way to reset. Okay, if you want to adjust the base, the base adjustment for an image over here, you can push up and down while hovering over any key to adjust it. That just avoids you having to having to uh, play around with the sliders which at times can get a little bit frustrating and I actually use the up and down keys more than what I do running my mouse up and down the sliders okay holding uh, pushing the uh, zoom button and hold uh, holding down the space button sorry not the zoom button um, will zoom you into the picture and bring up the little handle that will allow you to move around the image and this helps you especially when you're checking the sharpness of an image my, my focus was a little bit off on this shot okay that looks better Okay. Um, right, if you're working with an adjustment brush, which I'll be posting a lot more tutorials on um, in the near future, but if you zoom in, say, to one to one, and you're working on an R. And you want to and you want to move around your image instead of having to go out or drag from side to side what you can just do is hold down your space button and move around your image while still remaining in the adjustment tool over here so that's just a really fast way to navigate while you while you're busy doing your edits Okay, let's, let's go out. Okay, the let's check. Okay. The hot key to, to show you the overlay. Uh, of, of an adjustment brush is O. That'll show you exactly where your brush strokes have been. Um, that just helps you to be a little bit more accurate with, with each adjustment brush. Okay. Um, now, if you'll see that these the pins go away once I once I take my cursor off of the image. Now, if I'm working on, on, say, the R or other pins are getting in the way, an easy way to get rid of them is just to push H. Obviously, at the bottom here, you've got a, a choice of auto, always, select, or never as to when the pin should, should show. But if they are showing at the moment and you just want them to, to disappear, um, you can just push uh, the H button. Okay. Lastly, on the adjustment brushes is, is adjusting the flow. So let me just get a, an adjustment brush that you will easily see. Okay. By pushing a numeric value, it adjusts the flow of the brush. Okay. By the way, I'm increasing the size just with a scroll button, uh, with a, the mouse's scroll button. Now, I painted that on at 100% flow, okay, which as you can see, does not look good. If I want to dial it down to a 20% flow, I'll just push 
the, the numeric number 2 and that will mean I will be I'll be brushing this effect on at 20% Okay, let me push O to show you what we just did. Okay, here we go, and oh, zero takes you back to a flow of 100%. Okay, I'm just going to delete that for now. Okay, so that's just a quick tutorial to show you on uh, how how these uh, hotkeys work check it out practice uh, practice these hotkeys again the first 13 listed have to do with the Lightroom's modules and interface the the next four have to do with uh, flagging labeling and rating your pictures and then the last the last ones very important are just a few hotkeys to make your life a bit easier in the develop module. Thanks for listening.